a what? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to use a charge controller per panel now. Yeah, I know. The, yeah, I cannot use the PWM for that. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, okay, I think... I'm just reading your comments from the last video I just published where I compared the um, PWM, PWM and the MPPT controller both charging the same battery. Uh, and then I explained what my roof looks like, what it will look like with all the solar panels. And I've asked for advice if I should use only one solar charge controller or two or multiple for this. But I think there is some misunderstanding. I probably have misexplained this quite... Is this a word? Misexplained? I, I probably have something not explained correctly. Uh, let me get my... Um, let me get my whiteboard. Don't touch anything. Okay, here it is. So I definitely, I'm definitely not going to use this PWM controller for my solar setup here on the off-grid garage. This is here just for testing purposes. I may use this one in the solar gate, 24 volt battery, two solar panels in series, 40 volt maximum. I know I can I cannot use this one for, for multiple solar panels in series. Uh, this one can only handle 50... Uh, can actually here... The Chinese version, where is it? It's A somewhere okay this is the sl0330 amps yeah here here it says it here maximum voltage of solar panel smaller or equal 50 volts so this one can only handle 50 volts these ones have 34 volts these ones have 44 volts so it can handle one of these yeah but this this was not the question here's my whiteboard again this way around okay this is my garage east side west side there are the trees and the shade is coming this way during the day i've got six panels here 220 watts these panels are in series connection and these three panels are in series connection so i've got the same on the west side 195 watt panels three each are in series and of course you cannot use an a pwm controller for this setup anymore this is already like 120 volts these ones are a little bit lower so you cannot use any pwm controller for that 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 that's out of question and they are far too inefficient for this setup so the question is i've got these five strings now three panels each should I use a controller for each of these strings? Like this, yeah? Should this be charge controllers controlling just one of these strings each? Because this one will be shaded maybe, but this one not. The same over here. We've got maybe shading on these two rows of panels, but not on the third one. I don't know exactly how this shade will affect the roof here, but this is roughly how it how it will work. So the question is, is it more efficient to have several charge controllers? So these controllers here, for example, can just operate these three panels, which are not shaded. This one is managing these three, which may be shaded. This one is dealing with these three, which are shaded. This one is dealing with probably this string which is only partly shaded and this one may be in the full sun again i don't know and a combination of that you know so there's there's always something going on during the day when the shade moves over this whole garage well the alternative would be to just parallel all these ones and use one charge controller for this whole setup so three in series and then parallel three of these strings and use only one charge controller. And I could do the same on this side here. I could just parallel them and have another charge controller here. Basically one for the east side, one for the west side. But I think this is not as efficient as if I would have five charge controllers.
probably I have to try it. I have to mount all my solar panels first and wire them up in a string of three each and then measure what is more efficient when I need the charge controllers then anyway, right? So so this this was my this was my actual question. Is it more efficient to have five single charge controllers or only two? One for each side of the roof. Even there are some of the panels are shaded and the shadow is moving over these panels during the day, of course. I thought about it a lot. I'm not sure what is more efficient. Does it affect the whole array a lot? Well, I could potentially set up all these panels on the roof and wire them and then buy several charge controllers and do the testing and see what is more efficient. Two controllers or five. Okay guys, so far this little update video to, to clarify, just to clarify what I'm dealing with here. And, and at the moment I'm not sure how to set up these solar panels here on the roof. What is the best thing to do because I will have this shading in winter time. Summertime, no problem at all. The, the, sun, is, the sun is directly above us. There's, there's no shade at all. I have to be very precise what I'm saying here on the channel because people are picking up on everything. What is very obvious for me is not obvious for you and you picking up on these things very quickly. So you're not as lazy as the guys on the on the car channel actually because <laughs> they are not that picky, you know, they just... But here on this channel I need to be very precise what I'm explaining and what I'm telling you. So I hope this makes sense now with this setup and I'm not sure what to do. So what are your thoughts about that?